their Harleys, anybody that comes out here to see any of the homeless that's out here. And basically a lot of the a lot of the youth is out here. And that's what I'm really, really focused on right now because actually they all see me as Mama Becca. I help them out as much as possible. If I find blankets, I take it to them. If I find food, I take them to them as much as possible. I got a lot of a lot of adopted children, but we need to start focusing on them because that's what we can't be without is them. It's hard. It's hard to have them here out here. I see them every day. I see myself because I was out here at 15. My mom kicked me out of the truck at 18. So I was out here at 15 and it was hard. I cried every day. I didn't know what to do. So a beautiful woman saved my life. And you know what? To this day, she's still a savior to me. She's actually, I've also kicked heroin too. I'm also awesome recovery. So you know what? There is demons. We're normal people. We're not just we're not just people that, you know, we're just actually, like I said before, we're not homeless, we're just misplaced, we'll find our place in our life. So I uh, basically, you know what, y'all keep on coming out here as much as you can, because you know what, they need you. They need people like you. So, in Jesus' name, I hope One of the most difficult Amen. things to do is All right. find yourself in a storm. And while in that storm, it seems like everyone who you thought you could count on has, has walked away and Sometimes it seems like even God himself has forgotten about you. But in spite of that, to still be able to lift your hands and say, Lord, I trust you. So far away. Ten years ago. Yeah. I can only trust you. No one loves like you. But it's the thoughts in my mind. I wonder how I will make it. I will make it through. Oh God, but I trust you. Sometimes the pain in my life. Oh God, it makes you seem so far away. Can I get a witness, somebody? But God, I trust you. Through the tears. Anybody ever had to cry late in the midnight hour? Every tear you've had to cry. Through the heartache and rain. Come on, take it out through the tears. Oh, that's right, through the heartache. Listen, somebody's going through something right now, and the devil's trying to convince you that there's no way you can make it out, and he says you're not going to be able to get out of this situation, but I wish somebody would make the devil out of a lie right now and lift your hands and say, God, I will trust you. I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know when you're going to show up, but God, I know you're going to do it. God, I know you're going to bring me out. Come on, that's you. Come on, lift your voice and say, I will. Oh, that's right. I'll trust you. Hallelujah. Oh God, I don't know when the pains go in, but I know God, you wouldn't put more on me than I can bear. So I 
trust you in spite of what I see, in spite of what I'm going through. I trust you. God, you've never left me. I know you love me. That's why I trust you. Come on, why you take it up? I had my heart broken. I made some mistakes. God, you still kept me. Oh, God, you're faithful. You see what I'm going through. You know my pain. I trust you. It's not easy for me, but I trust you. I know you're here with me. I'm not by myself. As long as I got you, Jesus, I can make it. This keeps me going on those days when I feel like giving up. Fire. you to already see yourself out of the storm the clouds will move it's time for you to smile again mm. come on Sean I believe my family will get better I believe God will provide I believe Standing man. What impact um, did coming out here to uh, Travis Park, what impact do you think it made on your life today? It made me be grateful for the things I have. And even though, even if you don't have everything that you are going to it makes you be thankful. The God will do it for us in heaven. I know sometimes life has a way of knocking you down to the point where you can't even pray for yourself. But today, what impact did coming out to Travis Park have on your life today? It like, like, it shows me how you care for others and how to be selfish and care for What impact did coming out to Travis Park today um, make on your life? Um, it makes me happier. It makes me happy that everyone is being taken care of. Can you tell me what impact did coming out to Travis Park make on your life? It made a difference to me. I got to see a lot of people that were needed. And I got to help them. I asked them different questions of what size. And it really was nice to go out in the community and help other people instead of being selfish for myself. Like other people will help, they're just selfish. So yeah, and I learned that that's that just always helps that good things come back. So yeah. I think we should help other people because if people are living in the streets and they don't have any food or clothes, then they probably might get sick or something the cold. When they're cold, they get sick and then if they're too sick, they might die. But if you help other people, it changes their life because you're helping them. Um, like, like, I'm trying to 
Something that's very dear, a new ministry for the youth department. I hope you really take notice of some of the videos that we've already shot, some of the footage. There are people that really need, that really are in need. Sometimes we're in our comfort zone that we don't even understand that other people need more than what we have. They don't even have what we have. And you can share what you have. Just by giving a little bit of your time. You don't have to go broke. You don't have to give $100. Just a little bit of your time, a little smile, a little prayer. That's all we did today. And that's what you can do. Come out here the next time. Enjoy this fellowship with us. Get out here. Touch the people just like Jesus did. He didn't stay in the temple. He ministered to the people outside of the temple. That's where we are. All right. See you next time. Uh, first of all, we want to thank God for this outing. Uh, this was a great event. A lot of people were fed. Souls were, were fed. Souls were saved. Uh, people were prayed for. We just thank God for the ministry at, at Northeast Community for allowing us to come out and minister to the homeless. In Jesus' name, amen.